Greg Garman has the post office working overtime this year. Garmin has received letters from schools coast to coast that want him to come join their program. Connecticut, West Virginia, North Carolina. That's a whole bunch of letters in there I still ain't open yet. Iowa, Michigan State, Pitt. This late in the season, the running back has heard from just about everyone. Michigan, Tamora of Michigan. But the first school to approach him was Pitt. My sophomore year, um, I ended up going to the camp, going to the football camp. Coach Walker from, from, from Pitt, he just took me in a separate room from all the other coaches and we were just sitting there talking and um, that's when I got my first offer. He was the first guy to really get on Greg. Um, he was the guy that, that, that coached McCoy and, and that, that two, the two backs that went that year and he was very impressed with Greg. The attention means a solid future for Garmin but it's also put some pressure on the senior. I think it's been overwhelming for him at times. You know, it's hard to keep your head level when you're getting this kind of attention. And the people just kind of to you and talking to you, telling you to go to this school and that school. People like places you've never been and just people just emailing you and all this stuff. It's, um, it's nice, but most of the time it's overwhelming. For now, Garmin is just trying to keep his mind off his inbox and on the Whippeal playoffs. Being around the team and stuff, um, we kind of put the we're recruiting and everything behind behind us, and, and, and we, we just go out there and just play football. We will all find out where Garmin decides to play his college ball during the All-American game when he announces that he will play for UNC, Rutgers, Purdue, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ken Brown, Jet 24 Action Carolina, Sports, Iowa, Michigan State, Pitt, Tomorrow of Michigan, Tomorrow of Iowa.